first step to making this slime is you gotta put a whole bunch of glue in your mixing bowl. You can get a bunch of these Elmer's glue things, like the individual canisters, or sometimes it comes in a gallon. You can find it at like an office store or a craft store or something like that. We used three Elmer's glue bottles. And the next step is you gotta add warm water to this thing. The key is you add just as much water as you added glue. So equal amounts of glue and water. You can guesstimate. Um, that's what we're gonna do today. So I think it's like near, it's gonna be nearly this whole thing, but like not quite. Take your stirring utensil and stir it up just a bit. This is the moment where you add some food coloring if you want to. Um, I'm gonna use green because it's slime. It's my first slime, so you just gotta go with the classic sometimes. Here's a tip when you're adding food coloring to something. Food coloring is super, super highly concentrated food dye, so you don't need to add a lot. Maybe like one drop or maybe two drops are really enough to give you a nice color. If you squirt it in, things are gonna get really dark really quickly, so just a little at a time. I'm gonna go with two. All right. I'm gonna take this mixture and set it aside for a bit. Using your cup measuring apparatus, measure out one cup of water. This is where the borax comes into play. So pop open your borax, and it's like a powder. Oh man, it doesn't even come in a bag. It's just like right in the box. So just a heads up on that part. I wasn't expecting that. Um, take a tablespoon of borax and mix it up in your water. Um, start with like a little less and then add a little bit more because you really want to try to get it to dissolve. And a tablespoon is like roughly a spoonful. This is a big spoon, so I'm gonna do like just under. And really try to mix it up so you can get it all dissolved as cloudy as possible. Now we're gonna take our two solutions and combine them together and roll up your sleeves because this is the last, this is the final step in the slime making process. But this is super, super important. You only want to add a little bit of the borax water at a time. So just a bit and a bit and a bit. If you add too much, this can get too wet. So as you add it, you'll see it'll, it'll become like jelly-like and start mashing together. So just a bit at a time. We'll mix it as we go. We'll go a little. It's super watery, so I really hope this works. Oh man, it's happening. Oh yes. Still sticking on the sides like a little, but I don't think it's under. Ooh, dude, I love that color. It's like it's like toothpastey, and I hope you guys can see it. It's like a nice soft green. It's really sweet. All right, I'm gonna stick that aside. I'm gonna bring it on my tray. Yes. Ooh, it's not quite there. I'm gonna try to add a little bit more of this stuff. A little bit more of the borax. Try to really bring it together. Yeah, there you go. It's still pretty gluey. So what we're gonna do is we're trying to try to wash it around and uh, get the glue mixing in with the water and all of the borax and kind of just keep kneading it 
if you keep kneading it over and over, it'll eventually form this nice kind of slime blob. And that's what we're going for. I think I'm nearly there. All right. Yes! Paper towels to wipe off the hands! Oh! Dude, look at this thing! Look at this blob! It's kind of like if you've ever used Silly Putty, it's in between Silly Putty and really kind of like wet slime. And it's like you can slam it, you can put your handprint in it. I'm gonna make a handprint really quick. 